The line of people paying their last respects to slain opposition leader Boris Nemtsov stretched around the block. Foreign and Russian dignitaries were among those packed into the Sakharov community center. Former Prime Minister Mikhail Kasyanov spoke of Nemtsov's bravery in speaking out against President Vladimir Putin. Boris could not tolerate what was happening in Russia and watching the current government practically stamp out the Russian constitution and take rights from the Russian people. He and I were fighting against it. But as with past politically charged assassinations, few believe whoever ordered the killing will be caught. Those behind the 2006 murder of journalist Anna Politkovskaya, a critic of President Putin, have never been revealed. Sergei Sokolov is head of investigations at Novaya Gazeta newspaper, where Politkovskaya worked. He notes five of his reporters and one lawyer were killed since Mr. Putin came to power. Generally, the attitude of intolerance to any critics of the present regime, to any independent critics of the regime, has grown exponentially and has topped the scale. No one can be sure of his security today. Nemtsov supporters blame the Kremlin's propaganda machine for creating an atmosphere of conspiracy-prone nationalist hysteria and hate directed at the West, as well as anyone in Russia who opposes Mr. Putin. Sokolov says Russia's chief investigator in 2012 threatened to kill him, a claim the investigator denies. Sokolov adds many Russian journalists are severely beaten for challenging authorities, but says he still believes it's possible to find the truth behind Nemtsov's killing. If the case remains in the hands of those investigators whose role is to investigate and not to pretend to be investigating, then it's possible we can learn who carried it out during a trial. In regards to the mastermind, it depends who it is. Nemtsov, like other opposition leaders, was believed to be monitored by Russian intelligence, but was gunned down just meters from the Kremlin, considered one of the most secure places in Russia. Russian investigative committee spokesman Vladimir Markin says they are using all measures to solve Nemtsov's murder. The investigation is underway to pursue all lines of inquiry in this case. Witnesses are being questioned, videos from the CCTV cameras are being looked into, and some material evidence has been taken. As Nemtsov's body is taken for burial, his supporters chanted, Russia will be free. Russia! Supporters say Boris Nemtsov, part of Russia's marginalized opposition, fought and died for that belief. Daniel Scherf, VOA News, Moscow.